Well, after last week's leak, I wasn't expecting anything on Halo Wars 2 until E3. Boy, did I call that one wrong. Just yesterday, a posting for the Halo Wars 2 open beta briefly appeared on the Xbox dashboard, along with a ton of images. Some look to be from the campaign, others are clearly from multiplayer. There's a lot to analyze, so let's take a look. We'll start with the open beta listing. According to the listing, this limited time open beta, meaning anyone should be able to participate, will start on June 13th during E3 week and end the following Monday on June 20th. Damn, that's pretty amazing. Considering this thing starts on June 13th, I'm guessing that likely means right after the Xbox pre-show conference that day. After the massive launch issues that accompanied the MCC, Bonnie Ross personally promised that no Halo game would ever launch without a beta going forward. So the existence of a Halo Wars 2 beta isn't all that surprising, However, for it to be announced like this, well, <laughs> shit, am I right? Well, that's all for beta information. Let's move on to the big stuff, some high quality images. First, we'll take another quick look at the cover in much higher quality than before. As you can see, a lot of the stuff I discussed last time is pretty spot on. Brute styled vehicles, the lesser arc, a mind to death planetoid, etc., etc. However, with the release of this image, we can pretty definitively say that the game is probably gonna be set post Hunters in the Dark very likely post Halo 5. The brute styled vehicles, including a brute banshee, plus this new vehicle that looks like a mini reaper and uh, whatever the hell this is, and the art core pretty much confirm the when of the setting. Also with this high quality image, we can clearly see that all the brutes are sporting new armor, and the new weapon almost looks like something of a mega spiker. On the UNSC side, what was previously thought to be a Kodiak is most definitely a Cyclops. I know at least one person said as much in the comments for my breakdown video, so good call. And with the quality of this image, I've now counted at least 17 Spartans. I'm almost certain this is just artistic license, but given when this game is likely going to be set, even if it isn't post Halo 5, we can probably expect Red Team to be supported by Spartan 4s. Now onto the really good stuff. First, a few images that look to be from the campaign. The first image shows UNSC forces traversing some environment, perhaps the Ark, but maybe another location. We don't know. We can see familiar UNSC soldiers, warthogs, cyclopses, cobra tanks, and interestingly, a Kodiak. Funny that the thing on the cover wasn't a Kodiak, but here we have our first image, pretty much confirming that it's in the game. The second image shows the UNSC taking on some Covenant. We can see some recently blasted hunters down here, what might be a vehicle over here, and most interesting, the presence of the grizzly tank. So if anyone was wondering, it's back. What's also interesting is that the Covenant, as you can see, are read throughout all the campaign images, similar to how many of the Warzone bosses appear in Halo 5. I always found that decision to be kind of funny, so I'm wondering if now we might see why the UNSC chose red rather than more familiar colors for some of their bosses. Moving on, we have more UNSC forces just moving along, what looks to be a damaged one of those Reaper-like things we saw on the cover art, and a Pelican. It's hard to say whether we'll actually be using these like we would a Sparrowhawk or a Vulture, but they are present, and to the delight of some people I'm sure, they're in the Covenant War era style. Last thing on this image, you can see what's most likely a Spartan carrying the classic rocket launcher over here. After that we have UNSC forces crossing a light bridge, and finally, UNSC forces taking on Brutes. And boy does it look glorious. We can see that the Brutes are supported by Grunts, so we know it just won't be Brutes in Halo Wars 2. And in the bottom right, a Grizzly with a missile launcher as if they weren't overpowered enough. So, lots of interesting stuff for the campaign. Regarding the art style, while I wish the models could look a bit more detailed, similar to what we saw in some of the early builds of Halo Wars 1, they do have a solid color palette for both armies that stand out but allow for noticeable detail. Now, let's take a look at images that are more than likely for the multiplayer. Our first image features, quite prominently, one of those Reaper things again. It fits this new, brutish aesthetic of the Covenant vehicles, but it has something of a Promethean feel to it too. So I wonder if maybe it is something that was given to the Brutes by the created. We'll see. Beyond that, we get our first look at multiplayer, which, based on the images available, seems to be pretty exclusively UNSC versus Covenant. In all the images I'm going to show, the UNSC are red and the Covenant are blue. Now, if this is just a restriction of the beta, or if it's the main plan for the final game, we can't yet say. I'm hoping it's a beta-only restriction, though. The original Halo Wars had a number of leaders to pick from to freshen things up, but seven years on, I would hope that a sequel would have more than just two factions, even with multiple leaders. Anyway, back to the image. On the Covenant side, we can see Brutes, Grunts, Hunters, and surprisingly, an Honor Guard Sangheili. In the background, we can see the Brute Locust, and in the foreground, a Brute Ghost. Just to note, these aren't official names, I'm just gonna call them Brute whatever for the sake of discussion. Anyway, what really seems to have caught people's eyes is what is driving that ghost, which we can clearly see is an Elite with Halo 2 Anniversary style armor. So yes, the classic Elites are back. 
On the UNSC side, we have basic marines and flamethrower units. Our next image shows Covenant forces running around a very alien environment. This could either mean that Halo Wars 2 has multiple locations, or that environments on the Ark will be varied. Either is pretty exciting in my opinion. Pausing a moment, I really hope we get to see some ambient life this time around, and if so, I hope they'll actually attack you or enemy forces. I'm just thinking back to Hunters in the Dark, and all the beasts and creatures the UNSC and Sangheili forces had to deal with, and how cool it would be to see that stuff happen in Halo Wars 2. Back to the image, there's nothing really else new to discuss, but we do get a better look at the Brute Locust, the head of which heavily reminds me of the Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer Heretic Banshee. I think we also get our best look at the Brutes in this image, with the armor they're wearing seeming to resemble something between Halo 2 and Halo Reach. Our next image features some flamethrower units burning the hell out of what I presume to be a ghost. We can also see some other ghosts nearby, and looking at them, you can see that the basic geometry seems to be based on the Type 54 ghost from Halo 5. Near those ghosts is what looks to be a Brute Wraith, which also looks to be based on the Halo 5 version the Type 58. To the right of that, we can see a destroyed Forerunner structure of some kind, and at the bottom, UNSC forces coming to back up the flamethrowers. The environment looks very much like what we saw in the Ark in Halo 3, which makes me wonder if we'll see some familiar locations. I talked before about the structure that looked to be the Citadel in the cover art, and I wonder if maybe this area could be near the Ark's cartographer. Our next image shows UNSC forces on a Forerunner platform of some kind. The glowing bit reminds me a bit of the circular structures on Colosseum. Given the way it looks, I wonder if this might be a giant telepad of some kind. In the foreground, we can see a vulture, and towards the top left, some hornets, confirming the return of both units. Hopefully, we'll also get the Sparrowhawk. For our last image, we have UNSC and Covenant forces fighting by a Forerunner structure which, interestingly, resembles the Forerunner supply buildings from Halo Wars 1. We see a six-legged vehicle with the back open, which I think might be the thing firing missiles on the cover art. And over here, we have what appears to be a chopper. Near the top, we have a solo UNSC unit that looks like it could be a Spartan, but it's hard to tell one way or the other. And that does it for these images. There's a lot here, with some very heavy implications for Halo Wars 2, and now I'm even more excited for E3 next week. But how about you? Excited? Did you enjoy the images? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.